I guess you know you're not getting a tip. You know that. Terrific view. Come on. Come on, it's only 15 floors down. And you don't have to worry about the first 14. <laughs> Teresa Graves was a beautiful actress from the 70s. Most people probably remember her from the ABC crime drama television series called Get Christy Love. Teresa Graves was born January 10, 1948 in Houston, Texas to Marshall and Willie Graves. She was the middle of three children. The family later moved to Los Angeles, California. She went to Washington High School and graduated in 1966. Her senior year class voted her most talented. She started out being a singer with the Dudatown Pipers. She recorded a self-titled album in 1970. Soon, Teresa started acting. She became a regular in Our Place in 1967 and the single episode of Turn On in 1969. Teresa toured with Bob Hope's USO tour in Southeast Asia in 1969. She later got more acting roles and she became a regular on Rowan and Martin's Laugh In during its third season. In 1973, she was in the film That Man Bold, which she played Samantha Nightingale. Her most memorable role was in the 1974 ABC crime drama television movie, which later became a series called Get Christy Love, which featured Charles Kioffe and Jack Kelly as Lieutenants Reardon and Ryan. At that time, she was the second African-American woman to star in her own television series after Diane Carroll in Julia, which aired six years before. Julia's running time was around 24 minutes. Teresa was the first African-American woman to star in her own one-hour-long television series and the first for a drama television series. There was an article in Jet Magazine that described Teresa Graves as television's most delightful detective, the epitome of a tough lady cop with more feminine features than Venus. Teresa was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness in 1974. She said in 1973 she was running crazy and doing all kinds of shows and she learned that her cousin Peggy had become a Jehovah's Witness but she didn't know much about the Jehovah's Witnesses. She was shocked that her cousin had found religion. She thought that maybe it was a farce. So she decided to watch her cousin. Teresa said she always had a desire to worship and she tried different churches but became disappointed. So she decided to worship God in her own way and tried to be good. She said her cousin encouraged her and Peggy would have her Bible and she would answer her questions and she became impressed with her knowledge of the scriptures. Teresa was even studying the Bible while overseas between shooting the movie Dracula. She eventually became a witness. She used her celebrity status to bring international awareness to the persecution of witnesses in Malawi under then-leader Hastings Kamuzu. In 1983, Teresa retired from show business to devote her time to her faith. It is widely talked about that Teresa and Whitney Houston look so much alike. It seems like a large number of people believe that Teresa Graves is Whitney Houston's real mother. It's all over the internet how she's Whitney's mother. They have similar features, they're both beautiful, and it is said that Whitney sounds like her too. I've heard people say with such confidence that she is indeed Whitney Houston's mother, but there is no evidence of that. The only person that I'm aware of that is her mother is Miss Sissy Houston. And Miss Sissy is also a great singer. So I'm guessing that that is where Whitney got her voice from. Teresa, she resided at West 78th Place in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Los Angeles, where she cared for her sick mother. Her mother later suffered a stroke and was hospitalized before Teresa's demise. On October 10, 2002, 
Firefighters responded to a fire in the Hyde Park section of Los Angeles. Teresa was found unconscious in a rare bedroom of her home. She was taken to Daniel Freeman Memorial Hospital in nearby Inglewood, where she died from burns and smoke inhalation not long after arriving at the hospital. She was only 54 years old. A faulty portable space heater was determined to be the cause of the blaze. Allegedly, a smoke alarm in the front of the house was activated, but Teresa failed to hear it. It's sad that Teresa had to leave us this way. She was beautiful and talented. She was an awesome woman, from what I can tell. R.I.P. Sister Teresa.